How's it going everyone? People like to refer to me as Carly Dud, and today we're gonna be playing God. It's, it's, it's kind of like playing God. It's like if God were to have a very vague... <laughs> so basically, it's it's a 2D uh, particle type game. Um, if you've ever played any of those like falling sand simulators, it's really it's really similar to that, just way more in depth. Um, and the graphics graphics are phenomenal. It, it's actually it's actually running off of the uh, the Crisis 50 engine. If you if you didn't already tell, I'd buy uh, 10 790s, run them through SLI to get this to work. So okay, so basically what we'll do is just we'll select we'll select some. So, wait, well, let's go to the let's go to two, th two the the paint. Paintbrush. We'll get a size. That's the more the merrier. And we'll just uh, we'll we'll make a little we'll make a little thing here. Uh, we'll go down here. We'll make a little pad. Uh, we'll we'll give give us give us some ground here. And then we'll take the eraser and we'll flatten it out. The, the Germans. The eraser is called the radiator gummy. In German. Just some random high school knowledge coming. See, I stuff I learned in high school I would use in my career. Now my fans know that <laughs> the Germans call the eraser the radiator gummy, except it's not pronounced like that. It's probably got some sort of German accent to it. So basically what I hope I'm doing is I'm the, the, the water sinks into the, the dirt and you, you get you get plants and shit. So uh there's like a ton there's a ton there's a fucking ton of stuff that you can spawn like for instance i've got humans right here and uh they'll just sort of do their thing you can give them uh special powers so like i'm gonna make this guy these guys a miner so you got little you got magical powder that makes them different stuff i'm gonna make this 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 chick's gonna be a spaceman because why not and then these these guys i'm gonna make them hunters you guys you guys be hunters for your colony um, and once you have that down, you go over here, you just, just a rabbit, it's a rabbit storm, it's a rabbit storm, and there you go. And so you got the hunters, they'll kill the rabbits. Look at that. No, no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, he's fucked. It's, it's actually, ah, uh, god, I used to play the sand simulator so much, so seeing something like this, like, way in depth. We're gonna spawn some robots now, wreak havoc. In three, two, what? Okay, here he comes. Oh god, orbital drop, orbital robot drop! Run, humans! No! Oh god, oh jeez, this is not fair. This is not fair. Oh no. They don't even have a chance. Look, he's, he's climbing up on him. He's climbing up on the... What? <laughs> okay, so, uh, what else could we do? Avatar, this thing is like, if you spawn it, you can like, control it with a joystick. It's, it, it would, it would be exciting. Um... If, if you had like a course set up, which I will get into because there's a lot of user created maps. It was like 750,000 and like some people create the craziest things. They have like little puzzles and like adventure maps you got to do. It's just, it's just it's a sand game, but there's so much to it. Oh, I spawned another robot. Yeah, there's, yep, there she is. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, let's see what we could do here. The, the robots are indestructible. Like, I can't find anything to, to kill them just yet. So what we'll do is we'll spawn some TNT here. Maybe, maybe that'll, maybe that'll, that'll do something for, uh, the robot's not killing the spaceman. I don't, I don't really know, I don't know what, is that, like, three green wieners? Is that, is that what you do, like, three green wieners? Um, so let's do the meteor right here, so it's kind of fun to just drop it. All right, here we go. Comes a TNT. Oh god. Oh no. Spaceman! Spaceman Tom! Spaceman Tom! This is ground control to man. Yeah, you can't. The only thing that can rid the robots is the eraser. Yeah, you can, you have to erase the robots. It's so annoying, but I, I, I think it'd be kind of cool like if you could get your humans to fight them, but I, I haven't really found anything that the robots will fight. I think what I could really waste most of my time on here is just the, making big explosions just get tnt make a big circle and you have a meteorite and you just fucking put the shit in there god this is a fire ah! you get some fireworks you put the fireworks down here just got fireworks going everywhere ah. Ah. they should have just called it fire simulator because i could spend hours doing this just blowing stuff up we got some C4 here. Gonna blow that C4 up. 
Cause it's not gonna survive a meteorite. Bye, C4. What we could do is we could, we could actually, we could do the bomb, and then the bomb could then do the C4, and then the C4 could then do the fireworks. Oh, hey! That's how it works, I guess. That's how we do. I said, well, I'm gonna take my eraser and I'm gonna get rid of the C4 because it doesn't want to get rid of itself. I don't, C4 doesn't last forever. Maybe it's a glitch. Maybe it's just me not knowing physics. All right, so let's take, uh, all right, so we'll, we'll, let's create some ground. Wait, <gasps> let's use stone. There we go. So we've got, we've got a nice human civilization right here. Little, little happy little guys, happy little bastards going around doing human stuff. These guys have created a human tower. It is the leaning tower of human. And it's very sophisticated strategic strategy so that they can see other, over the other humans. It's because they, the, the, the human tower is collapsing. This represents the collapsing of democracy. And these guys, has, that is the collapse of the, the roaming human tower and its natural habitat. All right, so the game just crashed. That's always nice. So we go, we have to rebuild our civilization again. Uh, metal, okay, so here we go. Here's our redesigned skyscraper. That doesn't suck. Yeah, yeah it's coming together pretty nicely. Architecture at its finest. There we go, so there's a skyscraper. And this is a busy city, so there's a lot of people. You know, everyone's going to work, everyone's going to lunch. There we go, I can't place any more humans. See, but they didn't, they didn't know that this red stuff was placed here anxious, anxious by, by the <laughs> <laughs> They didn't know that this red stuff right here was placed, placed by the forerunners. They're, they're ancient, ancient foes. And, uh, well, they're not really, just read the fucking story. And then you've got fireworks. Because who doesn't love a show after, you know, a mass human genocide? And then... Uh-oh! The Nazis came back from out of space! <laughs> Run, John! Run, John! No! Okay, now the stone is turning to lava. Because that's how physics works. So, now the world is turning to lava. These humans are, uh, are really scared because they lost contact with the humans on the other side of the building and don't know their impending lava death until the Nazis came from space again! Ah! Run! Run! Ah. But it's okay, everyone forgave the Nazis for the nice fireworks show. So we go back to the main menu now. We can go to... The gallery? That's not what we do at all. Okay, yeah, so we go to the gallery. And you can see, like, the top user-created worlds. Like, again, this this game is on Steam now. You know, technology. See, like, what is this? Feed feed those hungry dinos. Let's go. Let's go feed some dinosaurs. So, what do we do? Do, are they, do we... Can we feed them humans? Ah, nom, nom, nom. This is the most sophisticated user-created map... I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so that didn't make any sense at all, ever. So the song is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, do not copy. Okay, ooh, these are these are awesome. So basically what these are is they're like they're like redstone blocks and they like play the songs with the little note blocks. It's just one sec, I just gotta find them. Oh, I gotta play. Oh. And even lights up the little the end. And then it goes back and does it again. Now I'm just waiting for someone to make a Smash Mouth version of All Star. <laughs> okay, and then this one, this one's like an arcade thing almost. So what you do is you move the character by doing that and you gotta dodge the lasers, which I think I just messed up because he fell off the edge. Can I... 
what, 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 just, what the, what the fuck? Okay, so you gotta, you gotta avoid the lasers and I just died. I died. Alright, one second, let me spawn. Spawn another ninja. Okay, so... God damn it, what the... No, fucking... So he can jump really super high for some reason. Nope. Uh, nah! uh, no, and you fell. You, f you fell. Maybe if I can... Can I... No? He, okay, alright. So what we'll do is we'll get back up here. Ah, man, he's, he's dead. Okay. Stop! Yep, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna dive into a little bit of the campaign. A bunch of levels they've provided for you to play. Uh, I'm currently on the tutorial. And what this does is just teach you the basic concepts of how the game works. So for this one, I'm supposed to plan a fucking tree. So I'm gonna do it. I'm planning a tree. And then they also want you to mine. And by, to, the, by mining, you get metal. So I'm gonna mine to the mountain right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, that's just make a tree. How do I get metal? What am I doing wrong? Uh, why? Oh, oh I, I, already, I already have it. Okay. And then now they want us to, uh, to make lava. And to do that, we got to burn the stone. So we'll do that. We'll just, we'll take some oil right here. And we'll just pour it down. We'll pour some oil. It's good. It's everybody likes oil for a nice meal. I like to sit down and have a good cup of oil. And just bam! Light it on f or not. Why isn't the fire working? Why? Maybe if I go to the temperature and make it really hot. Oh yeah. Oh look everything's on fire. Maybe maybe if I erase some things down here for the ashes of the tree to Nope. That's not gonna happen. It's not gonna work like that. Okay. Yeah, they have some other things. A lot of these are locked for me because you have to unlock them by playing levels. Um, so you have like a user created pack right here. And then you have lonely human. And you just you go play this. I could play this. I'm play I'm gonna put some dirt on the lonely human. He's a little lonely human. I'm putting dirt on him. So as you can see, the lonely human is uh is currently uh, covered in dirt. He's wondering where the chicken is. So his boat seems to still be floating in the water, regardless of having a few tons of sand on top of it. I don't really know why he's stranded. He could just go back out to sea. Well, he's stranded now. He's, he's under like 50 tons of stone. But my dead soil. And that's it. That's the campaign of Lonely Human. Cover him in dirt and bada bing bada boom, you win the Grammy Awards. That was like the seventh time the game's crashed today, so uh... Let's end it there. Well, thank you guys again so much for watching. And if even someone enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. But until next time, us. He's got a lady on a dino head. She is going to get on the floor and walk her dinosaur. This is opening a lot of doors.